Okay, hi, this is Dorothy Smith, and I'm a close to my heart consultant, but I am going to show you my office. And I've been cleaning for the last week, trying to trying to organize. I mean, this is like I am not an organized person, so it's very painful for me. Um, but this is a small bedroom. We no longer have any bedrooms. Everything is devoted to either video or my office or my club room where my ladies scrap and I teach them how to scrapbook. Um, anyway, so this is the office. And uh, let me just give you a good quick panning around. Here's my computer. And actually this whole organization and cleaning started off because of my printer. I had an, had an HP printer and it needed yellow ink. I put the yellow, new yellow cartridge in and then it gave me a printhead error and the printheads cost more than a new printer. So there you go. Anyway, so now I have an Epson and uh, so far I'm real happy with it, but I've used Epsons before. So here we go. This is the door and Here's a watercolor that my grandmother painted for me. Um, I've got Elfa shelves from the container store uh, that is my bookshelf here and wrapped around. And my sweet husband put those up for me. So I have, it's still, see I'm still not terrifically organized, but I have containers. I believe in containerizing everything. And so here I've got my hot glue gun and my petite perks so I can give my petite perks away as little freebies to uh, my my club ladies. Um, or if I have a, a card making session, then to try to get new people in, then I can give those as little freebie gifts. So I have a whole ton of con containers. And uh, these are for the M stamps, but I use my glitter tape and my ribbons in those. And then I've got three containers with my M stamps, which are the little tiny stamps, which I absolutely love. And then I have extra stamp sets because mm, sometimes I buy more than one of a kind of stamp and I have no idea why. So anyway, just going through, these are albums up here that are uh, some old albums where the pictures need to get moved out and get moved into onto new pages and a uh, new album. So that's a work in progress. And I've got various sizes of the close to my heart containers. These are, you know, our older containers, older meaning they just came out with a new one in the new catalog. And so I've got all of my stamps and I do try to put <clears throat> excuse me, the stamp of the month um, for various years uh, in those so I can access the stamps of the month pretty quickly. And then I have some stamp sets from 2016 and stamps from 2018 and 20, starting 2019. Um, I kind of go between years and then doing things like um, having an alphabet uh stamp section and a pun stamp section and uh, here's one for holidays other than Christmas for seasons in nature or a flare group and everyday life and then I've got um, ink, ink blot splashes and brush strokes so uh, and I've got a bunch of those and then there's some quick cards and things that are good for card um, card making. And then I have a whole section just devoted to stamps for Jim or Philip, which is my husband and son. So those are things that they're interested in. And then I have one up here that's stamps that are good for vacation. And one that's good for card sentiments. And then, uh, you know, variety, word puzzles, and anyway, so you can kind of see, and then down here I've got um, the slimmer one, and I've got some more giveaway things in that container, including one-by-one one blocks 
Um, and also picture my life. I put picture my life in um, the medium container. So here's my computer. Here's my TV so I can have something on while I'm working on my computer. And here is my Explore Air 2 in pink, which I just love. And then coming over here is my carousel of all, all of the new inks. And this is how I've organized them. I've copied the pages that have our colors on them and then cut them out to match them up with the stamp set. So these had to be enlarged. Now, this little container down here is also from the container store. And, oh dear God, more stamps. Anyway, these are stamps that, see, I love you, um, that I am going to sell at a garage sale. So that's, I have those handy and I keep them, I have some stickers here for pricing things out. So that's ready to go and I can put things because I've got a, I have too much stuff. I've got to slim things down. So I've got albums ready to put pages in. And I just got a new one today, a red one, that I want to do a Christmas album. And um, but these are old. These are those really big stamp sets that we used to carry for alphabet and all different kinds of alphabet. I really, I like those. And this I'm going to use to put in different colors of embellishments. So I've got a color color key to, to come off of. And then I've got a whole bunch of those three drawer containers. And so I put in like this one is for traveling papers, once again vacation. And uh, I have some Cricut shapes when I start going crazy making Cricut shapes. And then I've got some of my favorite papers, which always ends up being whatever is in the next catalog. And um, then I have a color of the year drawer. So we've had Sea Glass and Bashful. And then 2018 workshops. And then a whole drawer for glitter paper, because you can never have too much glitter paper. And then Philip has his own drawer, too, for paper that's perfect for Philip. And then Christmas paper. And then got an empty set, so more stuff can go in there. And then I have one started here that has extra workshop guides. Um, so I can give extra workshop guides away when I'm trying to uh, bring people into the fold and give them a freebie that they can. I can say, look, you can take this and just change the papers out. And then I've got some odds and ends here. Um, that uh, I like. I've got some of my older stamp colors um, so that they're easy access to go with the colors that just, you know, recently left us in June. And, um, you know, these drawers just get, stuff gets stashed in them. So we won't talk about that. Okay, so this is, this is the closet in this bedroom and it's one of those really would be nice if they were pocket doors instead of these gigantic doors but you know what can you do so this is my closet and um, it's a very shallow closet so it's kind of a uh, you know and it's very it's got deep recesses which I can't stand I mean look at that it goes way deep and you can't see back there so it's kind of useful useless and so I kind of stash things like bags back there like 31 bags and close to my heart bags and um, there's the old sea glass kind of um, on roller backpack kind of bag we got a couple of years ago and anyway so I use the these containers for my pictures to keep my pictures organized for see here's like 2012 um, so I can just kind of pull out some boxes and grab some boxes of um, pages that haven't had pictures put in them yet 
um, and go to town at a retreat. So here I use, I do, I have a thing for iris boxes apparently. So I have embellishments that sparkle and just plain old embellishments. And, uh, you know, because sometimes you know that you just want to get something that sparkles or no, I don't. I want something like, you know, pearls or something that's a little bit different. This is me keeping catalogs and I really need to let go of that. Let it go, let it go. Okay, extra albums up here. Old colors here. Don't want to get rid of them, but maybe I'll make some packages that uh, have those colors and then some of the old papers in them too to sell. Um, and I keep a stash of Tombow that I sell to my um, club ladies for cost. Uh, so anytime they come over and they're running out of Tombow, um, boom, they, they can have as many as they want. Okay. So here in my medium organizer, I keep my re-anchors and then when you open it now, actually, this is what started this cleaning frenzy is if you look under here. I forgot about that. This is a couple of weeks ago. I have these listed under the old Enchantment Adventure whimsy. Um, and I was going to make, uh, like I did over on my stamp pads, new lists of colors and then organize them. And that's why I was putting the yellow ink in. And that's when chaos hit. So um, I have to go back and do that. Now I've got to go back and... <laughs> Thanks a lot. Now I've found something that I need to do. Okay, so um, like I said, I like iris boxes. And here are card stocks that have been discontinued. Um, so that will get matched up with the older inks. And, uh, you know, maybe people will want to buy some juniper ink with some juniper card stock. I mean, that would be good. And then I have... This is, I use these, I love these square 12 by 12 um, handle material things, boxes, cubes. Um, and I have some old workshops that um, I've added some cardstock to and some uh, other papers. And I'll sell them at a garage sale. I have a whole bunch ready of stuff ready to go. So every time I get a list of things that needs to go, then I put them in my cubes. And when a garage sale comes up, uh, which we have a couple in the Plano area that are specifically for scrapbooking. So I can just pile all of my cubes into the back of my car and take off. And it's super, super simple. Or even if I want to have a garage sale in my house, then all I have to do is pull out my cubes and it's ready. It's a display. So all of these iris boxes are workshops that I have completed um, many pages for each of the workshops. Like our workshops your way, you get at least three, uh, two by 12, I mean, uh, two page layouts. And so, and then I always make extra pages with extra paper. So I have a whole lot of each particular workshop. And so I've got lots and lots of pages that are ready for pictures. So I have them according to the year, like 2018 layouts and, uh, you know, ready for pictures. And then this is my way of organizing. And I've showed this before. This is my way of organizing my paper. So it's super, my my cardstock, so it's super easy for me to find exactly what I need to um, add to or replenish my um, folders in the my club room, which I keep all of my cardstocks handy. Every color is handy for my ladies when they come in to do a club. So these are uh, from Stampin' Storage, and... Um, this goes into an uh, uh, Ikea Alex, I think, um, 
it, it's made for the, or the cubes are made for the Ikea. Anyway, I just went ahead and uh, once again copied the uh, color um, chart in the our catalog, enlarged it, and uh, put all the colors on the little tabs that pull out with the cardstock. So that has proven to be just really handy for me. Um, and then when when I need to go replenish, then what I do is, I'll show you what I put it in. And I've shown this before, but it's been a while. <clears throat> Pardon my club room, it's kind of funky right now. It needs to, I'm not finished cleaning in here. But it goes, there they are. The uh, colors go into my hanging files here. And so, the girls can get up, the ladies can get up and grab their own cardstock. And, you know, I have the price of the cardstock over here. And uh, this is my board that shows the new stamp of the month and any specials that are going on. So, um, here's the stamp of the month. There we go. So anyway, that's um, that part. So I'll show you how much stuff I have to go to a garage sale. So this closet also got cleaned out uh, last weekend. And so I, this is where I keep all my Christmas stuff, like little gifts and stuff and all the wrapping and what have you. But all these boxes down here are all ready to get put some place to go into a garage sale. So I have old albums um, and oh, just every kind of thing you can imagine. Anyway, that makes it real easy for preparing for a garage sale. So, and then this room, so that was, I just showed you my club room. Here's my office and the third bedroom here <laughs> is it's like we can't have guests anymore and this is this is where I do my videotaping and so um, this is next on the list and then also my um, subscription so it's ready to get taped and here's Daisy Daisy sit down good girl there's Daisy my son's dog. So anyway, this is, this is my life. And, uh, you know, like me, it's imperfect. You know, I'm not a perfectly organized person, but the whole point is to find it in the best possible way. And that's what I try to do. So anyway, thanks for watching. And I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you know, just write me below. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog at dotscrapbooking.com.